Carl, just talk to us about today, how you feel about that result. Very scrappy game, if I'm honest with you. Um, a lot of stop-start. Quite a frustrating game. With you know, They scored with their only shot on target. and We've not done anywhere near or good enough with the ball at times. So One of those days where if you if you produce so many moments of, of, of poor play and loose play, you don't get anything going. And it, and it felt like that in, in occasions. We had, a, we had a couple of bursts, but in, in general, we, we need to be better. Was that the most frustrating thing today, that perhaps you've, you fell short of the standards you've set yourself? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but I know, Portsmouth are the top of the table for a reason. They've got some good players. They make it very, very difficult for you. I just feel that you know when, when I know what my team's capable of, it doesn't hit the standards that it should. It becomes, you know, and you have to at this level. You have to be able to hit them standards to 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 be that consistent and, and pick up points consistently. And, and today we've come unstuck from that. What did you make of the goal, and particularly the, the aftermath with your goalkeeper? It's a, it's a loose, it's a loose bit of play. Yeah, we, we give the ball away very sloppy when we we should show a bit of composure, and then one pass is going straight through the middle of us. So it was just a sloppy, sloppy moment for us. They didn't really open us up. We've you know, we defended pretty well most of the game, but we've not got anything going as as, as much as I'd liked on the front foot. Nowhere near. So uh, we had, like I said, a few few bursts. But other than that, it was a it was a frustrating afternoon. Were you frustrated with the penalty shouts as well? Yeah, you do. You do. You hope one of those go in your favour. I uh, didn't think we got many decisions today, but that can sometimes happen. And we, uh, we, like I said to the boys, we have to keep we have to keep learning. We have to keep getting better. Now I'm so desperate for this group of players to want to show me that they can be top half League One players and move the club in the right direction and that's always going to be the message for them in this season to, to try and push on and try and get that level of consistency that can put us into the top half of the table and then we uh, we can start building from there. When you play a team like Portsmouth in the top three, what do the players learn from being up against a side like that? Well, it's not, I don't think we're a million miles away, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't think, the, you know, I didn't look at today and go Portsmouth for miles, miles better than us. You know, they're efficient, they, they uh, they deserve the three points, but I haven't seen anything in the division that go, makes me say I don't want to play them again. You know, it's, every game's competitive. I think uh, no matter where you're playing, top or top or bottom of the league, you know, be some really cracking games. I think this year today wasn't one of them. How do you get them back on the horse after that? Because, like you say, it's not particularly bad, but they've still lost the game. It's the same we do. We just reset. We, you know, there's been a consistent message for for 20 months since I've been at the football club that we just reset after every game, and that's same after Burton when we won last week, and it'll be same this week after we've not at the levels that we should have done. A couple of games to come up, one in the trophy. Will you look at that as some money to yeah, get game time? Yeah, mixing the game time up. You know, the, 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 the main concentration is I want to win every game of football, but I also want to make sure that we, we're competing in League One, which is which is important. All right, thank you. Thank you. Darrell, is it fair to say you didn't take care of the ball enough? Very, very much so, George. Very loose in possession and simple passes at times. And if players want to get to that high level of football, they can't afford to be so loose. But the players know that. They've got a real honest bunch in there. You know, they just, we have a discussion with the staff and discussion with the players, and, and and they know the standards with the ball. I can't I can't knock a fair foot desire. You know, they've they've ran they've ran hard, they've worked hard, but you have to show that better quality on the ball as you're going up the levels. And this is why some players cap out at certain levels, and some players just just fall back. You know, that's the ruthless world of football. And uh, you know, but I want to give my lads a fair opportunity to show me that they they can climb the levels because you've seen that and you do have the ability within the team for those players to be the ball players yeah we do it's a tight league we know it's a tight league it's going to be very competitive this season but uh, you know we we know we need to keep improving as we go along the way